Hello everybody, Lord Vapors here looking at the Haze from Haze Tech. This really is a very smart looking vaporizer. Look at the box. This is a very unique dual chamber vaporizer. It has external batteries as well, so it's ticking a lot of boxes. What else have we got in our little box here? As you can see, we've got two mouthpieces. We've got a glass one and a steel one. And this is the unit itself. Let's have a little look at this inside the bag here. Very nicely made. Uh, there's our little switch for changing chambers and also turns the unit on. Very clever indeed. Looks like something Green Goblin would have with him, doesn't it? There's our battery chamber. And here's the dual oven. Not only is it dual oven, we can have herbs, solids, and even liquids. Believe it or not, we have these separate little pieces. This is for a liquid chamber. We simply remove that and there's a little pad inside, cotton, that we would soak with our e-liquids. Great for those who want to finish smoking and also want to smoke a nice herb. What else have we got in here? Real good quality all the way through. Beautifully boxed. Toolkit, tweezers, the usual. A little brush. Staring tool. Let's have a little look inside here. Very, very nice equipment that comes with this. Even the uh, the quality of the brush is very different to those you'd find on any other vaporizer. It has kind of a dual end brush. A bit stubborn to come out of this little bag. Let's get inside here. See what we've got. <laughs> it really doesn't want to come out, does it? Here we go. Stubborn little thing. There's our gauzes, so we have two different gauzes here. One with the sides missing, and one full one. There we go. I find the uh, conductive ones better, because they provide more heat in the chamber. Let's get this open, look inside. These little units just pop inside. Very, very tidy. And then the gauze inside there, beautiful. There's our charging cable, standard figure of eight cable here, so you could just use a UK one of these, or you could use a shape changer. Nice quality on the charging unit as well, has LEDs that let you know the, uh, the progression of your charge. Spring loaded, very nice, very nice, two batteries at once. What else have we got in here? There's the little cleaning brush I was telling you about earlier instructions right at the bottom there again very good full color so i'm going to remove these little cotton pads just because i'm not going to use liquids in this i would have two different separate herbs in the chamber i'm going to put one of these in with the handy little tweezers provided i've since taken this one out and put the uh, the different gauze in because i find i get a better temperature from the other gauzes fiddly as can be it seems to be almost a little bit too big for this little crucible, I would suppose it'd be called, that goes inside the oven. And here we have, take these little pads out. There we go. Won't be needing those. Once they're out, they're out. All done. And then on this one, I'm going to use the, uh, the other gauze, which exposes some of the metal on the little crucible and gives you a better temperature, I would suggest. Conduction, induction, however you want to describe it. There we are. I may even try removing these all together, see how the unit performs at a later date. So we have our two separate gauzes, two separate crucibles. Open up the chambers and let's pop these little bad boys home. Very neat and tidy. As you can see, the circle full and open there, you know which oven is which. And then what we do is we pop our battery in, in this section here. We're going to put the plus in first. And then as I push away, we can see we're on chamber one. And we have our glass mouthpiece. Let's 
sits neatly inside. Beautiful little unit. Pops out. Like a little hip flask. Like it. Off. As we can see, the two separate chambers. So, we'll fill the filled chamber, the filled circle, solid silver, and we'll fill the empty circle next door. Saves having to refill, even if you do have the same herb in both. Again, I like this. This has become one of my main vaporizers around the home, simply because I've got two separate chambers in it. So we push forward, and then we know that we're on the solid. We push the other way on the open. Clear as day, nice technique. Now the temperature level is controlled with a, uh, a little button on the top of the unit here. So I found on level three, it seems to be the best temperature. This one here, or we can go all the way to four, which was a little bit harsh. Maybe if you want to use uh, waxes, you could maybe use those temperatures. We pop out our little mouthpiece and then we let the chamber heat. The steel one's very nice as well, but the glass does give you the slightly better flavor. I will probably leave the glass one at home, the steel one for when I'm out and about, for if I do drop the unit, or drop the mouthpiece rather, it doesn't break. The taste is very, very nice, it has to be said. I really, really like this vaporizer. It's snuck in there amongst my other mainly used vaporizers and seems to be taking over at the moment. So, if you'd like a little go of this, you can click the link below. I would strongly recommend it. One of my favourites of the year, this. Goodbye now.